everybody, welcome back to the Gem, uh, Color Gemstone Academy. I am your host, Paul DC, and this is my YouTube channel, Paul DC Gemstones. Well, this looks different, doesn't it? Well, I am actually doing this from Belize, Central America. In fact, if you look over my shoulder, um, and across the road is the Caribbean Sea. You can see a little building with the red top. That's right on the, 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 uh, the beach of the Caribbean. And uh, my best <laughs> laid plans my intention today was to do a two-part lesson, one today, one next week, on question and answers that you have presented to me that I would then feed to my friend and gem expert. His name is Tom Elliott. And so we taped this lesson with the best of intentions and what happened was about four minutes into this lesson, we had a major audio malfunction. I didn't know until I started to do obviously the editing and so that night I ended up having to leave for the airport because Judy and I were flying to Belize and he was getting ready for a trip to Guyana. So I'm going to do the two-part lesson maybe in a couple of weeks when I can get back together with Tom. So keep those questions coming. And in the meantime, this is just gonna be a little snippet, a little promo of some of the questions. I think I got to the first question that he was answering and then we completely lost our audio. So we will do that answer to that question and much more in a couple of weeks from now. So for now, take a look at what it's gonna be like with question and answers with Tom Elliott, Gem Guru. Hello, and welcome into the Color Gemstone Academy. My name is Paul DC, your instructor, and you have reached my YouTube channel, Paul DC Gemstones. Now remember, if you haven't, if you've been watching for a while, or maybe you're watching for the first time, if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's, I know it says subscribe, it doesn't cost you a dime, it's absolutely free, but it really helps me move up the charts so I can do more of these videos for you. Well, you've probably noticed right away there's another body next to me. His name is Tom Elliott. Uh, how, do I, how do I introduce you, Tom Elliott? That, when did we meet? Uh, like 12 years so, ago? So, it was probably 12 years ago. Uh, it was actually, it wasn't... It was in Vegas or two. Was no, Tucson you're right. It was in Tucson at Rosquan's hotel. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yep, now I remember. Well, it's not her hotel. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we met 12 years ago. We since then have uh, literally traveled the world together, yep. um, visiting mines, um, finding new opportunities, new gemstones, um, new cutting factories, manufacturing factories. So we kind of. We've they bonded a long way in the gem industry. Long ways in I will also years. say that if it were not for Tom Elliott, uh, not only would I not know some of the people that I know in this industry, because you're incredibly well connected. Um, and I, I told everybody in advance that you are one of the few ever graduate gemstone gemologists with a GIA. Yep. So I'm a graduate jeweler gemologist with GIA. I've been doing this for, um, I think it's been like 34 years now. So uh, I became a graduate jeweler gemologist and then worked actually in the education department for GIA for, uh, for a couple of years. And then after that, um, you know, it's, it's been a long road and a very <laughs> fun road, uh, but um, I've owned, a, owned and operated a gemological laboratory up in Seattle, outside of Seattle, Washington. And basically dealt with how to do uh, appraisals so, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, so we did, we were one of the leading uh, companies in the nation for doing appraisals. We did a lot of appraisals on antiques. So uh, everything from like tons me. of diamonds, antiques like you, <laughs> and me now. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we were probably one of the w most well-known uh, uh, labs for antiques, and then we did uh, laser engraving and about, you know, um, I would say hundreds of thousands of appraisals a year for companies and shopping individuals, channels yep, shopping yep. channels all over the world. Yeah. All right, let, let me put it this way. So this is going to be a different kind of lesson than I normally do. I'm usually giving you a lesson on one gem or another gem. I asked you in advance for some questions, and I told you that this guy's forgotten more about gems than I will ever know. Oh, boy. And I feel like I know a lot about gemstones, but uh, honestly, and he's really, really well connected. And if you want to continue with more questions after this lesson, he's always just a phone call away from me. So there we Absolutely. go. I want them to know who you are. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, I did want to also say that if it weren't for Tom Elliott, 
all of those places that we visited, you never have a picture of Judy and me together because she was always <laughs> the photographer. So that I really appreciated that too. All right, so I'm going to go to my list of questions. Okay, here I, we go. I, I didn't commit them all to memory. Uh, some of them I've answered uh, to you guys a little bit in advance, but other I also want to get his take on on these. So Tommy, who's my gem collector, said he said, "Question is, what is the wave? What is with the wave of petrified wood with jewelry and stones?" I just purchased a Collarwood fossil piece of wood with chrysocolla in it. It's a very small piece, but beautiful greenish blue in color. It came from Turkey. What is it with the with the petrified wood? So, I love petrified wood. It is actually one of my absolute favorite. I've dealt with petrified wood um, from southern Brazil, Uruguay, um, United States, Arizona, Utah, Nevada. Um, all have major specimens. Wyoming, Montana. Uh, th these are all areas that were very, very um, highly volcanic, and so that's what happened millions of years ago. Um, is it was a volcanic area, and this wood got trees got caught into uh, magma. That's a cliffhanger, wasn't it? I know you're on the edge of your seats, finding out what happens with the magma and the the, the uh, petrified wood. But again, I apologize that we had that snafu with the audio, but we will get to that lessons uh, part one and two when I get back together with Tom Elliott. So keep those questions coming, please. In the meantime, while I am down here, I'm gonna make a plan to do that lesson on spinel that was requested. And so that will end up happening next week. And then when I get back and can get together with Tom after the holidays, we will get back to the question and answer. So please keep those questions coming. Remember, if you enjoy this uh, this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you a dime, but it does help me out and helps me do more lessons like this for you. So I will see you next week when we will do a lesson on that incredible gemstone called Spinel. Thanks for watching everybody.